And January 25th, we want to do this in one fell swoop. Um, do I have any comments or changes on either of these? Make sure your name is spelled correctly. I do not have any changes. I have one correction. Okay. On page five. On which one? On page oh, five. Okay. Uh, there's a reference to shift. Yes. Um, but it says shipped. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> we we found that out last week, last month. <laughs> um, yes. And I, I continued to make the error. Okay. Any it's others? easy. It's supposed to be like, you know, shift your perspective. Yeah, yeah. And, and then I looked up shipped, and it was something about a yeah, company Yeah, that is that a real ships. company, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, any others? Lisa, if you move, I'll second. Okay, I do have a motion to approve pending the shift correction. Yes, motion to approve. All in second. favor? All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, thank you. I just wasn't here for the last one, so I felt like I couldn't yep. be the first one to approve. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's smart. Um, <laughs> so we have no public comment. Um, all right, so announcements. The one, um, the, um, I was contacted by the League of Women Voters, or I think it was them. There's an Enviro Delco website uh, of the League of Women Voters, so it's called Enviro Delco. And it's kind of like a clearinghouse for all kind of environmental resources, um, events and things like that and I asked Ian to add the link of it to our website which I believe he already did so you might want to take a look at it um, I've been sending Jillian from the League of Women Voters like our um, lecture events and our other events um, and she has been um, forwarding those, so I'm going to see if we can put our ev our events on there, which would be nice. Um, and so, if you all want to just check that out and you know see what you think. Um, so, once again, um, February 28th is the regional EAC meeting. You can still sign up. It's 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 all day Saturday and it's virtual. Um, I'm still unsure, pending my grandchildren, um, mm -hmm. whether I'm going to be able to attend, but I would like to, but if any of you want to, there's still sign, time to sign up. And I can send you the info if you want it. Okay, and any other announcements? Okay, thanks. Well, we don't have an update from the green team. Melissa, is there something you wanted to mention maybe with the, um, you know, what's going on with the updates on the various electric vehicles and everything else? Sure, um, I have a few updates. Uh, we put out a bid for installation of EV charging stations. The bids were received yesterday, so staff is in the process of reviewing um, the bit of references, financial qualifications, and their certifications. Um, and we anticipate awarding this project on April 8th. So it's a pretty lengthy review process, but um, we're hoping to get it before the board on April 8th. Um, as for electric vehicles themselves, uh, we have already received uh, two F-150 Lightning all-electric vehicles, and. I believe that they're in service at this point. At least one of them were in service, was in service. Um, we've also put in an order for three or four of the all-electric Chevy Blazers. Um, those, are, those are brand new. Um, so 
Chevrolet is scheduled to start production of those vehicles in April. The, uh, we put out an RFP for a facilities evaluation and energy audit. We received the draft study from Practical Energy uh, last week. So staff will be reviewing the study and meeting with Practical Energy and members of the green team um, in the next few weeks. Um, we anticipate that Practical Energy will be able to present the study at the Board of Commissioners March 25th meeting. Uh, that's a tentative date depending on what else is on the agenda. Uh, and the last thing is the, uh, I don't know if you are aware of the townships around town Thursday segments that are aired every Thursday. Um, so this week's, which was just posted today, um, they covered the lecture series, um, specifically the solar one that's coming up. Okay. So that was posted today and it's on YouTube and on the uh, government access channels. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. And did you see my uh, request to have it on the newsletter as well? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, we already yeah. got about I think 20 signups. That sounds about right. Something mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, f I figured it would be a little less, um, you know, a little less popular than the native plants, but still it seems to be receiving some interest. Yeah, thank you for that, thank you. Okay, thanks, Melissa. All right, and then we have um, the letter we've been talking about um, to support um, this uh, effort at reducing um, diesel emission at diesel emissions, and um, Dan wrote this up based on the model letter that's being sent from mayors across the country. And so we're signing on to this, hopefully, if we vote it in, and um, then we'll be giving it to the Board of Commissioners to also sign. Um, it's in the packet here, if you haven't had a chance to look over, um, if you'd like to look it over and um, have any discussion, otherwise we'll then call for a motion to approve it and move it on to the Board of Commissioners. Um, I support signing on. I think Dan made a little revision in response to something I mentioned about um, in the third paragraph. I had, I had mentioned to him that we should emphasize um, that uh, renewable energy sources should be used or promoted, I guess, mm -hmm. um, so that renewable energy would be sourcing, um, you know, w would be where the uh, electricity would come from for these vehicles. And that's in there now. I think it wasn't before. Um, and otherwise, I, th I think it's a strong letter. My only s super nitpicky thing is to, for my name, just write ESQ instead of JD. Um, but otherwise, um, the substance of the letter, I think, is good, and I, um, I support us voting on it and moving forward with it. Anybody else? Okay, do I have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. Second? Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Um, so then we'll ask Ms. Melissa you to uh, put this to the Board of Commissioners. Is there a way we will actually sign it or don't we have to do that? Um, I'm not sure what Dan is looking for. Well, he so listed, you, yeah. Yeah, well, so what, names. what I can do is after this meeting I can print out a nice copy for, for the members here tonight to sign. Okay. And we'll try to get the other members in here to sign it as well and then put okay. that before the board. Can we give you permission to sign our names if we can't get to it before? Uh, like Sure. <laughs> some distant, distant date. <laughs> yep. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for that. And 
And um, so our next order of business is the update on the lectures. As um, was mentioned before, um, the native plant garden lecture was really successful. Um, we had, a, I think, 40 some attendees. Um, people loved it. She was excellent. It's the it's on our website. If you haven't, if you weren't able to see, well, um, Ray was there. Um, if, were were you, we able to get a copy of the presentation and not I've just the recording? I've asked her a few times, and she said, "Oh, I did send it, but I don't think it's been posted yet." Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I sent it on to Ian. If I haven't, I'm going to write myself a reminder. Um, yeah. And. Um, yeah, so I thought it was really good. She was excellent. You know, after all the years of, of teaching and presenting things, I learned a lot from her, really. You know, just her great organization and everything, yeah. I, um, I mean, I agree. I think it was excellent. I, you know, a number of people wanted a handout, so I don't know whether in the mm, future we should have... I should have had at least the eco-friendly yard handout. Yeah. I don't know what got into me there. Uh -huh. We'll definitely have to have those again. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, so, but it was excellent. And I did give a verbal uh, a verbal reminder about the eco-friendly yard. Yeah, and I, I actually got, as a result of that, I did get a request from, oh, for a flag. <laughs> they, they got it. It's funny looking at the yards in, in winter. Um, <laughs> it's a little harder to tell, but, you know, you, you People aren't, people aren't going to make this up, you know. <laughs> so you just kind of believe what it what it all is, um, yeah. But that it was great. So anyway, um, March sixteenth then will be our next one, Beginner's Guide to Solar. Um, that's at ten a.m. on uh, Sunday, no Saturday, and um, we have people from Solarize Delco there. We will have them, and also. Um, someone who has gotten solar will be there and talk about their experience, and the people that attend will be able to get some personalized advice, um, you know, if they talk about their property. So sounds useful as well. And then we have scheduled now um, on May 30th at 7 p.m., which is a Wednesday. Is that a Wednesday? A Thursday. Thursday. Okay, um, Donnell, maybe you want to talk a little bit about this one? Sure. Um, so if you haven't been yet, <laughs> Shift is a refill store in Narber. Um, and one of the owners is actually a resident of Radnor Township. Um, and so when I went in, I, I go in there often, <laughs> and I actually also pick up my candles to be refilled there. Oh. Which is awesome. Um, I, I asked her if they do this sort of thing, and they do, and so um, reached out to them to give a presentation on low waste living. Um, so they are, they really live the lifestyle of producing as less, the least amount of waste possible that isn't, um, you know, recyclable or compostable. So they'll give that talk. Um, they provided a really nice, uh, description they've given this lecture um, a few times I think probably more than that it's a 45 minute presentation they provide like a background on zero waste lifestyle um, some golden golden rules uh, explore common challenges uh, discuss simple actions you can do to like start it you don't have to go all in and change your whole life tomorrow um, and then they'll um, highlight some local access to sustainable options. So things that we have already in our community, like their own shop, and there are others um, in different parts of the city as well. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited that they're gonna come do this. And also, you know, having, I really like that we're having local people do this because it is also supporting them financially. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really thankful that the um, township has provided a stipend for these presentations. When did you say? It is May 30th at 7 p.m. And we should definitely, I think we should even have a flag. If we can have a flag here to show people, the yard waste flag. Oh, you don't have to yeah. give it to anybody, yeah. but 
just a display of like, look at this lovely flag we can have. Good idea. <laughs> It's May. That one's May. There's one, the yeah. solarized Delco is in March. It seems like this April would be such a good time to have one of these presentations, but I fear we were a little bit late on booking people and probably can't yeah. pay the premium. Yeah, the native plant people couldn't do it. April's <laughs> yeah. too busy for yeah. them. And, and um, for them as well. They have too many other yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we tried. Month commitments. Yeah, yeah. we tried. Um, well, we, we do have our other commitment. Yeah, we have in April. Actually, yeah. more than one as it yeah. will come up here. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, I think it worked out for the best. Yeah. Okay, and once again, if as many people, and many of us that can attend, you know, it's nice um, to introduce, you know, our members to everyone and just make people more aware of us and what we do and invite them so we could have members of the public, you know, so that would be very helpful. Um, any other comments on the lectures? And I mean, we can have them during the summer, but I suggest we give it a rest over the summer, but, you know, yeah. Okay, so other updates, the Art Awards, we've given three since January, so that was pretty nice. On the Yard Awards, I think it would be great for us to have another push with that, like on and around town or um, on socials or through the newsletters as the weather clears. Right. And, <laughs> we'll, and when we, if and when we have the native plant giveaway, that will Yeah, that will be, be a great yeah. time too. Because I think it's been a very successful program from the perspective of like us actually making it happen, right? Like we started talking about this like three years ago. Yeah. And so it's really exciting to like see the emails where people are so excited to like mm. participate and get it and show off all their hard work. Yeah. That obviously means a lot to them. It does, yeah. Um, and so I, th I just think it's really great and I think we should keep building on it and not let it get too quiet, right? Right, right, yeah. yeah. Especially as people are gonna start cleaning up their yards and thinking about what they're gonna do. And yeah. so I think the, that the timing would be great. Okay, thank you. So this ne next uh, update, native plant giveaway. Um, so our member of the public from Nature Conservancy? From Radnor Conservancy? Okay, so maybe you can help us then. Um, so could you just, could you answer right now, will Radnor Conservancy be uh, contributing any money or not? I'm sorry to put you on the spot, <laughs> but I, I haven't heard back about that. Show. I'm a board member on the uh, Radnor Conservancy. Thanks. Um, and yeah, we're happy to participate. We're not going to do our native plant sell this year. Okay. We didn't feel that it was uh, um, sort of um, as successful to, for the effort that was put in to have the sale. Um, but we really, we really want to obviously push them as much as possible and educate as much as possible. So we'll be happy to collaborate anyway as far as promotion. Um, being there on the day, helping the orders. Um, as far as the money goes, we have to. We did not have a quorum at our last board meeting to decide whether we could or not. Oh. So we just have to to have that, and the board just has to vote before we allocate money. Um, so I'm not sure. So we'll see. I, um, okay, because mm -hmm. um, the, you know the concern is mm -hmm. that last year everything was ordered mid February, and apparently they they run out of the stuff really quickly. Yes. I think and so. Um, yeah, so I don't know quite what to do. Yeah, so I think we should do it soon. I think Amber's ready to, as far as advice on what to order, and um, you know, Gretchen Grobel did the order last right. year and sort of passed on that yeah, to, she gave to Amber. Me the order. Yeah. So um, as far as the money goes, I can't speak to that to tonight, but I'm sure Amber said we. Um, you can speak to her tomorrow about it, and we'll be able to decide. Oh, so you'll know tomorrow? Was there some um, money that was already allocated to the EAC for it? Yeah, we have we have um, okay. money allocated, but, um, you know, it would depend on what, what and if you're willing to contribute. Meaning how much you How we do order. this and how many of them okay. and how many we give to each person and okay. all of that. Yeah, yeah, I can't come tonight and say, but I, d I think okay. we could have further discussions. I think she might have to have a little bit more of a board member um, before we can allocate it 
that would be the only thing. Okay. Um, but we're certainly on board to promote and, and actually volunteer on the day and do whatever's needed. We have some supplies left over from last year. We're happy yeah. to, to also donate and give. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're on, we're on board to collaborate. Um, as far as if and how much, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely, okay. hopefully be able to decide very soon though, because I realize oh, you need to get the yeah, order in. Yeah, because we probably should need I to mean, get I, it in. I've never done this before, but yeah. we should probably get that and so order so you're thinking, am there. I correct, and you're thinking May for the, no, Well, for that's April? the other thing we need to discuss. So okay. uh, we, last year we had it around Earth Day. Yes, um, okay. So this year, the two dates, and maybe you, you know, okay. have a suggestion as well, are either Saturday, April 13th, or Sunday, April 14th, mm -hmm. um, or Saturday, April 26th, or Sunday, April 27th. Okay. The weekend in between, my son's getting married, and okay. so yeah. <laughs> um, we're not going to be doing it then. Absolutely. <laughs> um, I, as far as I know on our schedule, we can just double check and see if we have, I don't think we have anything at the moment going on April, in April. Okay. Um, so... You know, but I'll just double check because our programming is kind of right now getting getting sort of figured out for the year. Um, so yeah, let's 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 continue tomorrow or next week and try okay. to. I'll, I'll give her the the idea of urgency so that we can go. Yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. If, if anything, at least just sort of decide on what plants to order. You know, get the order organized, and then you know right. when the when we know about the details. I mean, money. we can more or less just dupl almost duplicate the just order. Duplicate, yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. I have the feeling the prices probably went up <laughs> as everything Pro does. They probably have, yeah. yeah. So maybe if we submitted it to see how much it was and then we'll see maybe yeah. how much you might extra would need, that would also right, be helpful. Right, right. So. Okay. And we'll apparently see. you have an account, a wholesale account with that one. Yes. There's, so okay. um, Amber offered to go ahead and place the order for you guys oh, if you'd okay. like. Okay. Just to streamline the process. Um, that would. She's worked with them before and we've that worked would. with them. So that might also help with the price too. Okay. So, Great. Yeah. That's no, we're happy to do that to collaborate. Right. Yeah. And I think I, we like the idea of the giveaway versus a sale. Okay. So, you know, um, and we were It's more popular, I'm sure. <laughs> Much more popular. Um, and although it was, po it was not not popular, it just was okay. a, a lot of effort for not a lot of, you know, return. Right. For, so, yeah. But I think, so we might as well just give it away. Right. And yeah. um, and then I think um, also just as far as the education, we'll be happy to be there, you know, if, with advice on you know how and where and to mm -hmm. plant and you know all the all that good stuff, so that okay. people can be successful. So great, yeah, of course, great. Thank and did you. Did you want to say anything else? No, that was okay. it. Um, just and I also just wanted to sit in. It's my first. It's, I'm just new to the board, so I'm just trying to get familiar with the faces and the processes, and oh, I just wanted to. Sit thank on. you so much. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thank Welcome. you guys. Welcome. <laughs> So, okay. So re related to the timing, though, is Melissa, is the township doing their tree giveaway again in the spring? Do you know? I I don't know. I don't have those details, but I can find out. And I'll yeah, so but I like asked about the two dates, and apparently the, the, the building is, we're able to open up the building and have it available. Is that right? Didn't I ask you about these two dates, April? Um, the two choices, April 13th and 14th, or 26th and 27th, or was that Ian I asked? No, you asked, but Ray, were you asking about a different? Giveaway? I was asking about the potential tree giveaway that the township oh. always does in the spring, just to make sure we don't have any conflict with oh. that particular date, is what oh. I was thinking. I see, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'll find out for you. Okay. Okay, well then, hmm, then we can't establish They always do it in the yet. spring sometime, and it's always right around that. Last year there was no, there wasn't, the tree thing I think was way earlier. It, yeah, I think it was like in March. Um, hmm. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll, let's just check. Just okay, to yeah, well then we can't establish a date. But we can, I can hear from you as t to whether you have any preferences. So does anyone have one weekend that would work and or not work, let's put it that way. That into who, and, the, and you intend to help, but the one of the weekends wouldn't work. Uh, I don't have a preference. I was just looking up the, um, okay. 
there is an announcement for an Arbor Day celebration on the township website on Friday the 26th of April. And I don't know if that is when they did the tree giveaway um, last year. Because mm. last year we had this right around Earth Day, which was mm -hmm. April 25th, I believe. But I don't have a preference for dates. Okay. Well, maybe we can go for the earlier date then, so not to get maybe into that Arbor Day possibility, mm -hmm. depending what Melissa says. The shade tree did theirs in the fall. Yeah. Well, the okay. Thank you. You probably don't have a name with your hands in that. We don't have yeah. it for sure, but we'll still leave them both open. Okay. And then hopefully we'll get this going pretty quickly then. All right. So then the third thing to talk about is the career workshop panel. Um, so there was you know, some correspondence back and forth. Unfortunately, Emma's not here um, with Mr. Presley, uh, who's the vice principal at Radnor High School. And um, he has um, okayed the date of April 3rd. Um, and both Ray and Lisa, who will be speaking on the panel, have approved that date. Um, it's going to be during their one hour lunch time, but I haven't found out yet whether, you know, he's got a room. I'm hoping for a room where they can have food and we could maybe bring a little food. Mm -hmm. um, and I have two possibilities for people from the environmental science field. Um, um, neither of them have responded yet. Um, but so I think three people will probably be enough uh, because then we can have questions and answers. Um, does anyone else wanna have, have some ideas or participate? Um, I was thinking like 15 minutes for each of you, 10 or 15, and then questions and answers. Um, yeah. What time was that? You said their lunch time. Do you their know lunch time. I have to yet? find out the okay. exact time. I assume Assuming it's around noon. noon yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That sounds. That seems right. Okay. All right. Um, I had emailed Villanova to ask if they had any alumni, but we did not get responses. Yeah. It's really hard them. to get responses. <laughs> um, and I don't work in environmental. Yeah. The environmental field. Um. But what about um, Jenkins, since they rent, they sent us that really nice thank you note. Yeah. Maybe somebody there would be willing to sit on the panel. Are they environmental science, though? I mean. I, would, I mean, I think we should have one environmental science person, since that okay. is such a huge piece of it. Um, I'm in correspondence with my former colleague. He said yes to it. Um, but wanted to know the date, and when I told him the date, I haven't heard back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm in correspondence with an environmental scientist who works on um, in Philadelphia on um, all the environmental projects in Philly, of which they do a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and she had spoken to my students in, when I taught that class. Um, she's great, but that one is pending as well. So if worse comes to worse, I'm going to get the slides from my former colleague and present it myself, but I hope that we get the actual person. Yeah. So. Okay. Thank you. All right. So um, other business, um, we, I, I guess, I don't know if it was sent out to all of us or just me. Um, about from the Willows, from Will Nord, uh, about the health and wellness um, little festival that they have. I went to it, I think their first year, and had a little table with info. Um, and so, sort of like at the, at the fall festival. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a, it's a long day, though, 10 to 3. 
at a table. Um, and I don't know if any of you are interested. It's April 27th, once again, really busy time. Um, I am not interested this time. <laughs> but if anybody, any of you think you would like to um, have a, you know, represent our group, then let me know and we'll ask Will to reserve a table for us. Um, yeah, it was, it was good in that there weren't many people, they weren't a lot, it's not like the fall festival, but the people that were there actually talked to you, you know, or engaged with you. So um, just about everybody, they just make the rounds and they, you know, go to, so that was good. Um, so I don't know, well think about it please and let me know if, you know, I know April's really busy and then, yeah. Do we have any of our sunflowers left? The seeds? Yeah, there, there are some. Yeah, yeah there are some. Um, I don't know how viable they are anymore. I did keep them in the basement, which is a good place, I guess. Um, yeah. So, well, yeah, let me know. Um, we should probably request the table and soon if you're, if you're interested. Okay, so is there any other business that you'd like to bring up? <clears throat> Have we covered everything here? Melissa? The only other thing I'll say is I did check the agenda for the Board of Commissioners meeting just to very quickly. I encourage mm -hmm. everybody else to do it as well, but I'm just now in the habit of just scanning it oh, to make sure there's that. no projects yeah. of concern that we want to weigh in. I didn't see anything for the mo this coming, I think it's Monday meeting, but just reminder that I think we should all be yeah, checking it just yeah. in case. Yeah, thank you. Anything else? Did we want to talk about the articles? Oh, that yes, thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I wrote up the article, I, you all got Eugenia's email for asking for someone to um, write an article, so I wrote one. Um, and oh, the well, the main thing was I wanted to have for that article when when our plant giveaway is, and we still don't have that. So we'll just have to say mid-April for it. I won't have. So the article is just I listed our recent and ongoing projects, so the eco-friendly yard and the lecture series. And then our upcoming, um, the Solarized Delco one on March 16th, um, the April 3rd career panel at Radnor High, the native plant giveaway, and then May 30th, the how to reduce your, your landfill burden. Um, and then I just gave some links to Radnor web page um, to learn about all their projects and um, our, our email. So if that's all right with everybody, if, so this a little, a little rundown of stuff. Uh, they're calling their lecture Intro to Low Waste Living. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I saw a write-up that said. It, okay. That is the first sentence, learn how to reduce oh, your intro landfill to low waste. burden. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yes. Yeah. Good. I don't put the wrong thing in. Do you need another pair of eyes to edit that? Um, if I'm happy to do it, if you want. If you don't need it, that's fine. Sure. Just offering, if you. Um, that's always good. What date is it due? It's due on Monday. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was gonna say maybe we can get confirmation of the date beforehand, but. But I will. Well, I don't I think I'm hooked up to the internet now, but I will send this to you after. Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right, and anything else? No. Okay, then um, I will adjourn the meeting. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you for coming.